Intel City, a platform where you can learn, teach, research, and repeat. A welcome to uh, FPGA based design tutorial. In this video, we will learn about the following things. How to make a new project in Fivado Design Suite. And then we will see how to implement the design on FPGA kit. Uh, we have a Nexus 4 FPGA board, which has the following properties. Uh, it looks like this. Uh, this is the student evaluation kit. Nexus 4 uh, is the name of uh, this board, this kit. And uh, Arctic 7 FPGA is uh, mounted on this kit. And it has a lot of uh, switches uh, and push buttons and uh, seven segments and uh, other uh, input output ports. So overview of the uh, Xilinx uh, FPGA that is Nexus 4 uh, board. And it has a uh, uh, XC7A100T that is Arctic 7, Arctic 7 FPGA. It belongs to Arctic 7 family. Uh, so uh, the Arctic 7 FPGA is optimized for high performance logic. Uh, and uh, uh, these uh, other features of this Arctic 7100T FPGA include uh, it has uh, around uh, 15,000 logic slices and uh, uh, the six input lookup table is uh, implemented in this uh, logic slice and it has uh, each uh, slice has eight flip flops. Uh, it has also uh, 4.8, uh, 4,860 uh, kilobits of fast block RAM. Uh, it has six clock management uh, tiles uh, and uh, 240 DSP slices, which are very important for the DSP based designs. Uh, and uh, Internal clock speed uh, may reach uh, 450 megahertz uh, and on chip analog to digital X ADC uh, also is available. Uh, so here is the we are interested in the uh, basic implementation on this uh, Nexus 4 FPGA. Uh, so in the basic uh, implementation, uh, we will uh, write a code for uh, adder basic adder uh, and uh, Two bit adder it will be a two bit adder and uh, we will see we will go through all the implementation steps in the vivado software and we will implement uh, using these uh, leds and these uh, switches uh, so here is the uh, screenshot from the uh, date uh, from the uh, reference manual of the nexus 4 uh, board uh, so uh, here are the uh, here is the uh, sw0 uh, means uh, switch 0 uh, and sw1 means switch 1 and uh, these are connected uh, to the U9 and U8 uh, pins and similarly R6, uh, R7, R6, R5 and V7 also connected uh, to uh, the external switches and uh, similarly in, uh, in a similar fashion the uh, LED0 uh, is connected uh, to T8 uh, pin of the FPG and LED1 is connected to V9 and similarly uh, these connections. So we will use these connections in the uh, Vivado software uh, while designing. So let's go to Vivado and start our implementation. I have Vivado 2018. So let's open this. Uh, so we have opened the Vivado software. Uh, we go to a file to create a new project, project new. And next, uh, this is uh, the location of uh, my project C FPGA content and name of the project is project two. It's okay, fine. Click next and this is the RTL project uh, in the RTL project we write the code uh, for the uh, project in the behavioral uh, and data flow level uh, the combination of the behavioral and data flow level uh, modeling techniques uh, so uh, I don't have the I uh, file Verilog file uh, to add at this uh, stage so I will just click next and the target language this is very important so the target language uh, in this case is Verilog so uh, I will select the Verilog and uh, uh, simulator language is mixed this is fine and click next uh, constraints i don't have the constraints right now i will add them uh, later next uh, this is very important the part number i have is xc 7 a 100 t csg 324 so this is uh, my device uh, xc 7 a 100 t csg 324 1 uh, this is the uh, device available on the Nexus 4 FPGA board. So I will select this uh, device and click next and finish. Uh, 
so I have uh, successfully created the project. Uh, we can see the project summary here. Uh, since is uh, no information about the census is available and the implementation information is also not available. And other uh, informations are also not available because we have not performed any census or implementation steps right now. So uh, first of all, I will uh, add the sources in this uh, project, add sources. Uh, add or create design source uh, next uh, create file i will create file uh, so uh, the name of my file is adder okay finish uh, so here it's asking uh, uh, from me the about the inputs and outputs uh, i will select the uh, inputs and outputs later in the design so i'll just uh, click okay right now okay Uh, so here is my uh, design about the software uh, we can see this is the uh, flow nav navigator very very important every step of the uh, design uh, is available here uh, like ip integrator simulation rtl analysis census implementation and uh, program and debugging options uh, here are the source here is the sources window in the sources window we can uh, see the uh, sources design sources and the simulation source of files uh, which are available in in our project so here is the adder.v this is the file which i just now uh, right now created and uh, here are the libraries and compile order uh, so uh, this is the design runs uh, the information about the design run tcl console message logs and reports is available uh, in the bottom side so i will just double click this uh, adder.v and the file is open i will delete these uh, comments uh, these comments are deleted now i can see the module adder uh, this is the, uh, available uh, and the end module also here so i will just uh, write my uh, verilog code of a simple adder two bit uh, binary adder uh, so a here a b and s and c uh, four ports are listed here uh, a b s and c and input i will make a and b as input uh, both inputs are 2 2 bit uh, so a and b are, are 2 bit inputs uh, and s is also i will just delete this carry so only i will ignore this carry the output is s s is also a 2 bit signal so it's a half adder basically i am ignoring the the carry so because my focus is on the implementation details and not on the coding uh, practice so i will uh, just write a simple code for the half adder uh, so i will use assign statement assign s equals to a plus b so hopefully uh, this will create my uh, uh, a simple half adder uh, uh, or uh, uh, both inputs a and b are of uh, two bit size so let's implement this adder so I'll click this RTL analysis, open elaborated design. This RTL analysis basically extract information from my code and uh, it, uh, it shows me a uh, concept of the circuit the software has extracted from my code. This is the first level uh, where you can uh, guess about the uh, working of your circuit. So it has extracted the correct information. Uh, A is input here and B, uh, two inputs are here. Uh, and adder is designed and the output goes to s that is also a two bit a signal so uh, we go to from this rtl analysis uh, from here this is very important uh, we assign this a and b to the to the fpga board pins so using the uh, information provided in the reference document so uh, we connect these pins and we click this uh, from this default layout we go to io planning click this io planning And now we can see that uh, here uh, in the bottom side we have all ports uh, listed. Uh, so A, B, and S are here listed. So uh, we can first select the protocol. Uh, so uh, the board is running on 3.3 uh, volts. So we we will select uh, LV CMOS 33 for all this A, B, and S. So I have selected the LV CMOS uh, 33 uh, for uh, all these uh, inputs and outputs and a0 is connected to so let me go back to the reference document so i will connect uh, a0 to uh, my s0 that is a switch 0 so switch 0 is available uh, on u9 and switch 1 is available on u8 so i will select 
u9 u8 over here okay and about the b the b input uh, i'll also see uh, b0 will be connected to r7 and b1 will connect it to uh, will be connected to r6 r7 and r6 r7 r6 okay uh, and what about the s so s is the output so we will connect this output uh, with the led so uh, the s0 bit will be connected to the t8 and s1 will be connected with the v9 so here we have the t8 led 0 and v9 led 1 so we will just control uh, save this file the this information by clicking control s so it, it will ask uh, me to save these constraints these constraints are the io constraints input output constraints so i will uh, save this with the name my xdc file and click ok so these constraints this pin, pin information is stored in a file we can go to the project manager and see uh, here is the constraints uh, uh, folder so this my xdc file is available over here I will double click this file to open this file so this is the xdc file uh, created uh, by the automatic software so i can manually i can modify this file from here as well so uh, but i have uh, uh, i have used the uh, graphical user interface of the vivado software uh, to generate this information and this file so now i can uh, go uh, to the uh, census process and i can click this run census the number of job is the number of processes you have uh, the maximum you have you can uh, assign this number uh, to your uh, this is the number of the cpu cores you have uh, you can see a running census design so the census has completed uh, and it's asking me uh, to run for implementation and i can also view the reports and the open synthesized design i'll go to open this synthesized design and click ok so here is the uh, census uh, synthesized design of uh, my half adder uh, so as the adder uh, uh, uses very little hardware so it's uh, not uh, highlighted over here uh, but we can always uh, go for the we can look for the uh, a DRC report, the utilization report that how much hardware it has utilized and report about the power consumption and also we can uh, see the timing reports. So I will not uh, open these reports right now. I will run the implementation. In the implementation, uh, the uh, basic idea is to uh, connect the circuit uh, which has been synthesized by the software with the uh, basically uh, it transforms the uh, synthesized circuit to the uh, to the architecture of the fpga board and also it connects uh, um, different modules uh, with the io pins uh, so the implementation is completed and uh, we can generate the uh, bit stream of uh, our design by clicking over here or we can also uh, open the implemented uh, design and we can see uh, the details of the implementation uh, just like uh, we can see in the census uh, so it has uh, opened the implementation uh, implemented design and uh, we can see the uh, report of the power uh, consumption of this design also we can see the uh, timing summary and timing report or also we can see the um, uh, the uh, report of about the noise uh, so i will not see uh, the reports over here i will uh, click the generate bitstream okay the bitstream generation uh, is successful now and we can also see a report over here or we can open the hardware manager so i will cancel this uh, dialog box and i will open the open uh, i will click the open hardware manager from here uh, so make sure that at this level the uh, fpga kit is connected uh, so my nexus 4 fpga kit is connected by a uh, usb uh, so uh, there is uh, here we have no hardware available uh, so uh, we can open the target by we can click the open target and auto click uh, auto connect 
So hopefully it will find the connected FPGA kit. Okay. So here we have the uh, XC7A100T uh, that is not programmed uh, right now. This data is not programmed and we have the XDC also. So XC7A100T, uh, this is my FPGA board and I will uh, click right click this and uh, I will click program device. And uh, bitstream file, uh, this is uh, adder.bit is a bitstream file uh, which uh, uh, my project contains. Uh, so uh, I will uh, I will program uh, the FPGA using this uh, adder.bit bitstream file. Okay, now the FPGA has been programmed. Uh, now let's go to uh, the FPGA kit and see uh, whether it's working fine or not. Uh, so here is uh, my FPGA kit uh, Nexus 4. Uh, FPJ kit and uh, this is the FPG and uh, these are the switches uh, which I have used in the uh, program and these are the uh, two outputs uh, two, two LEDs uh, which have been used in the in the programming uh, this uh, half bit adder uh, so half uh, uh, half adder a two bit half adder so both A and B uh, this is A0 this is A1 and this is uh, again B0 and B1 and uh, these LEDs uh, show S0 and S1 outputs. So uh, we will apply some uh, inputs like all the inputs are uh, 0 here A0, A1 and B0, B1 all inputs uh, are 0. So the output is 0, 0. So this is the correct output. Uh, so I will change the input by uh, making this one. So A0 is 1 and all uh, other B is uh, zero so a is one so the output is one like LED is on so again I will uh, change the another uh, I will make the B as one uh, so the output is uh, one zero so output is two so one plus one is two this is the correct output uh, so again I will uh, pass uh, two from uh, this a input so this is one zero one zero means uh, two in the decimal form so two plus one is three so one one this is the binary uh, of the uh, three so two plus one is three so this is one one so this is the correct output of the uh, uh, our, uh, our design our circuit uh, so uh, we can implement uh, other circuits also in this way and uh, thanks for watching this video and uh, stay tuned for more stuff like this.